Neighborhood crime alert. The St. John's County Sheriff's Office searching for a man who robbed a hotel clerk. Happened off 95 near the outlet malls last night. It's at the Howard Johnson just off State Road 16. Take a look at that surveillance video. You saw the clerk and a woman in the lobby. A man walks in and he's wearing a motorcycle helmet. Channel 4's Chris Parento turns us live from St. John's County with more about what happened, how this all came down and transpired. Bruce, the sheriff's office tells us that man got away with all of the cash in the register and then they believe that he took off from the area on foot. There are a lot of hotels and a lot of businesses in this area and a lot of people working at those hotels tell me they're very shaken up and shocked by all of this. Take another look at that surveillance video. You see the man walk in in that motorcycle helmet, point his gun directly at the hotel clerk who runs a few steps away before stopping as that man gets closer. The clerk goes to the register to grab cash. The entire time, a woman is standing there trying to check in, but she's barely moving. Within seconds, the robber takes off back out the front door. The sheriff's office tells us there were no surveillance cameras in the area on the exterior of any of these hotels or businesses that caught the man fleeing. I talked to other hotel workers in the area who say they can't believe that this happened. This is normally a very quiet area, but again, it is very close to 95. Those hotel workers tell me they can't really comment anymore on what happened because of their company restrictions. The sheriff's office says that they are searching for this man. They have that surveillance video of him. They believe that they know what he looks like and they know what he was wearing last night. They're asking anybody who may have seen that person leaving this area to please get in touch with them. The manager working at the Howard Johnson right now tells me the clerk that was working last night is shaken up but he is doing all right. He tells me they don't have a security company that works in their area that patrols their parking lots overnight. He says that if they were to add that, that would be a decision made by ownership, and he doesn't know if that's something they're even going to discuss after what happened last night. Live in St. John's County, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.